good morning student welcome back to the another section of computer network that is data communication and computer network on the previous class we learn about different types of multiplexing techniques or multiplexing in this section we will learn about the tdma that is time division multiple axis before starting this section we should learn about or we should know the concept of multiple axis technique or system for example telephone switching systems and data multiplexers are designed based on the fact that not every telephone or terminal that can send information will do so at the same time or alternately so most of the devices which is related to the telecommunication or you can say the telephone switching systems or data multiplexers are not properly used for communicating the same type of data or similar type of data from one end to another end so the telephone or the terminal users does not need or want to pay the entire capacity of the channel for example hum log jab koi bhi particular television network ya tv network ko use karte hain according to our requirement there are certain particular channels or channel bands are there we can subscribe for example agar hum log ko english news channel ki koi zarurat nahi hai तो हम लोग उसको सब्सक्राइब नहीं करते सो इट डिपेंड्स अपन द हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी और हाउ मच मच चैनल बैंड्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अस व्हिच इज सब्सक्राइब अबाउट दैट सो वी मे नॉट पे द एंटायर चैनल कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ सब्सिक्वेंस पर्टिकुलरली लाइक यू कैन से सिस्टम so several particular methods have been designed or devised to allow sharing of the satellite communications and or stations resources among several users so that it appears that the transmission channel is dedicated to each user it means according to our requirement we can subscribe or we can use the channel paths by using the satellite communications and as well as the or stations so there are different particularly multiple access techniques or systems are there in this case the multiple access techniques permit or permits multiple access to the channel a channel represent a system resources assigning to a given particular device that is in this case say cell phone or mobile the device user that enables the user to establish communicating or communication with other users in the network for example we are a part of a cell phone service provider and we want to communicate with other particularly network that is other subscriber or other particularly like a subscriber or you can say subscription we can easily communicate with that depending upon the channel type specific multiple access techniques can be used for communication so for communicating 
from one end to another end that is transmitter to receiving end there are different type of techniques can be widely implemented for communicating our data so the channel types and the associated multiple access techniques which are widely implemented nowadays that is in computer network are the number one the frequency channels that is fpma that is frequency division multiple access in this case frequency bands split that is divided into small frequency channels and different channels are assigned to different users in the case of fdma that is frequency division multiple access the complete bands or complete band divided into smaller bandwidth or smaller frequency channels and by the help of the smallest or you can say the small frequency channels we are communicate with that so the different channel can be assigned to different users for example when we listen fm radio or the radio signals or radio frequency where multiple users can transmit simultaneously we can listen different channels in a simultaneous process but the difference the different frequency channels can be adopted by or can be subscribed by different users at a time so in the case of fdma so it can be divided into or the complete like channel frequency completely divided into several small channel particularly or you can say frequency channels on the second the second one is called time slot or we are using the time slot in the case of time division multiplexing so the time a time slot within frequency bands by using ddma that is time division multiple access in this case every user permits to transmit only a specific time or time slots using a common frequency band so it is a time bound concept in the specified time which is provided by the network we can use or we can normally uh, like access certain channels so various users can transmit at the same frequency band at different times <coughs> so we can access different but particularly frequency bands in different time but by using a specified time slot the third one is called distinct cores that is by using cdma that is core division multiple access so in this case user can transmit simultaneously using the same frequency or the same frequency band but with the help of different cores that is different cores are available with that because it is known as cdma that is core division multiple access so that they can be decoded to recognize a specific user so which user can access the different particularly channels or the channel bands it depend upon the coding and as well as the decoding systems so these are the some of the multiple access particular techniques or access systems which are widely implemented with the computer network so in this section we focus about the pdma that is time division multiple access so basically it is a complex technology it is not a simplest or simple technology because it requires an accurate synchronization between the transmitter and as well as the receiver so the tdma is basically called a complex technology 
which required accurate synchronization between more than particularly one user that is you can say the transmitter and the receiver if a particular system consisting of four users or you can say four particular senders every individual particular senders data should be go through or should be transferred by using mux and as well as demux that is multiplexer and demultiplexer so that so every individual signal which is passed from the sender end to the receiver end or the transmitter end to the receiver end should be in a synchronized form it means every individual signal that is 1 2 3 4 from like uh, like sender 1 sender 2 and sender 3 sender 4 the four senders having four subsequent particular signals 1 2 3 4 so it is mapping in a synchronized form that is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 so there are 16 particularly like you can say the uh, like signals which is normally occupied in a four frames that is every individual particularly one two three four that is from center one from center two center three and center four having the subsequent particular thing in a frame format so the dma is used in basically the digital mobile radio signals that is by using the radio waves or the radios particularly signals the individual mobile substations like uh, like cycling, assign a frequency for exclusive use of a particularly time interval. So every individual means it is it is mapping in a synchronization form through which we can communicate from like one end to another end in the case of TDM. The TDM works just like TDM that is time divisible multiplexing, land based data, and as well as the voice transmission. So the TDM followed by just like the particularly TDM, that is time divisional multiplexing, there are different time slots there, and every individual time slot having its own particularly channel form, or you can say the framing concepts. In the TDM system, you had into the radio or the ratio spectrum into time slots. So every individual particularly channel should be divided into certain time slots through which we can actually communicate or through which we can actually like transmit from one end to another end. It's particularly in each slot, each slot, only one user is allowed to either transmit or receive. So it is normally called a synchronization form. So in that case, every individual particularly slots can be utilized by one user. Either it can transmit its data or receive its data. And the next part is each user occupies a particularly cyclic form or the cyclic repetition of the time slots. If a given time slot is not particularly sufficient for transmitting a data, it is mapping in a cyclic form or it is mapping in a queue. So transmission for any user is non-continuous. So, if a particular time slot is given to a subsequent transmitter, that is called you can say sender one. If that particular time slot may not, or you can say like the data which is uh, like transmit over that time slot is not particularly sufficient, so it may not actually like non continuous. And the last one, listening to the different frequency at the same time is quite difficult. So at a time, one frequency can be assigned to a subsequent time slot because it is purely based on the framing concepts. And the next, first, each user is allowed to transmit only within a specified time interval, that is, you can say the time slot. As I say, earlier in the PDM, that is time division multiplexing, every individual user should allow transmits its own particularly data or transmit its own signal in a specified time interval that is called the time slots and different users transmits in different time slots so it depends upon if more than one particular users there with a particular system every individual user having its own time slot to which they can make or they can transmit their data when user transmit they occupy the full frequency bandwidth, like that is separation among users in platform in the time domain. 
So if one user at a time can transmit this data in the desktop DDMA, so the particularly user can occupy the whole frequency of the bandwidth which is normally available with the like uh, like the communication network. So in this case, this is the TDMA and every individual particularly like this is the frequency and this is followed by the time. And in the TDM, every individual the different color shows that the time slots about or the frequency time slots about the subsequent particularly network. So the next one, TDMA requires a centralized particularly control node whose primary function is to transmit a periodic reference trust that defines a frame and forces a measure of synchronization of all the users. It means it requires a particularly centralized control node through which it can control the entire network and it depends upon or it can transmit the periodic reference trust. And in this case, the reference trust is basically called or the post mode is nothing the data transmitted during a single time slot is known as the reference trust or the trust and a collection of trusts frame that is normally called uh, like uh, a collection of particularly trusts are particularly form a particular frame. So every individual frame having its particularly collection of trust. Trust is nothing a particularly time slot which is given to the subsequent particular transmitter. Uh, 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 so, the frame, the next point is the frame so defined is divided into time slot and each user is assigned a time slot in which the transmission uh, or to transmit is information. As I say earlier, every individual particularly time slot given to a specific particular user who can actually transmit its information over a network. In TDMA, the bandwidth of channel is divided, divided, uh, divided among various stations on the basic so it completely based on or it completely like based on the subsequent particularly time slots. So if the individual bandwidth of the particular channel is divided or divided among the various station on the basis of the time. So every individual particularly channel having its own particularly time slot through which we can actually communicate. And the next point is if station is allocated a time slot during which it can send its data, that is, each station can transmit its data in its allocated time slots only. So every individual station having its own time slot, which is given by the network or uh, given by the particular system, and the, by the help of that particular time slot, we can actually transmit like the data from one station to another station. And the next point is, each station must know the beginning of its slot and the location of its slot. So every individual station must know about the beginning of the slot, when the particular time slot is given to the subsequent station and for the location of the subsequent slot. So if a particularly system having four stations, that is station 1, S1, S2, S3 and S4, so S1 normally provides in the very first location of the time slot, so it can normally activate that particular time slot and after that, that particular station 2, station 3 and station 4 in a synchronization mode. And the last point is basically called in this particularly like slide, TDMA requires synchronization between different stations. So the synchronization is the most important particularly like factor or fact or uh, sorry, uh, term in this particularly like uh, multiplexing or multiple particularly access of time division. So the time division normally in the term says that every individual station having its own time slot to which they can communicate or they can transmit its information from station to station. And this is the simple diagram of the subsequence particularly TDMA. That is in this particular the left side diagram having the frequency and followed by the time. And the U1, U2, and U3 is basically called in this case that is user1, user2, and user3. And in between user1 and user2, and as well as user3 having a particularly narrow band option that is in the in this case white, particularly like uh, user1, user2, and user3 normally provided the time period that is the time slot that is T1, T2, and T3. 
So in this particular link, like diagram or in this particular image, there are three users there, that is user one, user two, and user three over a subsequent particular time figure. That is user one allocated the time slot T1 and followed by user two T2 and user three like followed by uh, like T3 time slots. So the second particular picture shows that that this particular diagram on the right side of the subsequent slide it is basically called a base station and if a particular station can transmit its particular like uh, a particular its data so overall particular you can say there are three particular slots that that is one two and three so the first of all the user one can travel or can transmit its data or allocating its data to the subsequent space station that is in the case of t1 and the second particular t2 and t3 so when uh, whenever the t1 particularly transmits its data or using its time slot the subsequent particularly time slot 2 and as well as 3 is left blank it is not utilized by the subsequent particularly user while actually communicating the user one is communicating or particularly using the channel bandwidth uh, uh, over the particularly base station the particularly time slot which is given here in this case that is not utilized by the subsequent user that is user two and similarly the user three may not access the time slot of particularly this particular t1 and as well as t2 this particular two things are left black so this is using the base station having three subsequent particular user can use its particular time slot and the rest of time slot like which is provided that is not utilized by the subsequent user. Thank you.